Be the hero. Whenever you're ready, Maya. Thank you. Hello. First, I would like to apologize for my internet. Um, my city is having a big um, party, so everyone is using the internet and it's kind of slow, so I'm sorry. Um, okay, so going back, I was talking about the mockups that was a website which I use for visual visualizing what I wanted my website to look like. So can you... Pass, please. So here was my first idea of what I wanted my website to look like. I basically did a homepage explaining about the project. Um, and here is the place where the users can create an account or login into the one that already have. So can you pass, please? Here is what I wanted to do with my initial pages. So there is a page explaining what each part of the website does. And this is just a idea of what I wanted my timeline, that is one page of the website, to look like. Can you pass, please? Okay, but this is what my actual project looks like. Here is the homepage and here is a little bit more, more down. And can you pass, please? Um, I'm going to show more about my website in the demo. So can you pass again, please? And pass again. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there's me then. So let's just wait a bit until I show the website. I'm just talking about um, what was my motivation about the project. So as I said, it was basically a thing based on the idea that everyone can do whatever they want. So that's it. that is why I put the name You Can, because I thought it was good relating the idea with the name of the website. So everyone can like search for it and thought, oh my God, I know the idea of the website. So here is my homepage. Um, basically, there is some questions about what the user might have and obviously their answers. So what do you do? We help engineers with their project management, you know, basic questions about what the website actually does. Here is basically a place where I explain briefly here, where you can basically do a checklist of all of the steps you need to take to achieve this goal with all of the ideas you have on your mind. So I basically did three main steps and a lot of, my God, light. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so basically I did three steps, three big steps and a lot of small ones. This is the timeline where basically you can plan with time and days, what you want to do in each day. So Monday, what do you need to do to achieve this goal, you know? And this part is about the materials. So it's basically organizing what you need to do to take your idea out of paper. So basically this part is where you can do your login and, or sign up if you already have an account. So you can save all of your um, progress. So you can assess it all the time you need. Can you pass please? Actually, can you go back to the, um, oh no, it's right, right, sorry. Um, yeah, um, as I said, I want to turn the website also into a iOS app version. So the user can like connect the two um, spaces to make it better to use and work with their project. And basically, I want to do as soon as possible and publish it. And I'm actually going to do 
a little bit of more pages into the work so it can be more perfect as possible so the engineer can um, project more their plane and do um, as much pages as I can. So can you go back to the Get Magic experience, please? Okay, so a little bit more about my Get Magic experience. So it was really good. I was so happy when I found out this opportunity because here in my country, we literally don't have things like that, especially for high school students. So it's, it was really, really nice. And I really like my mentor. She was really sweet with me, especially because I didn't know like nothing about coding. So it was really nice to have the opportunity to do a project and learn to code with such a amazing woman uh, that I actually um, aspire to be like just like her because she's smart and she has children she does a lot of stuff and she like inspired me so much so I was really grateful for the experience yeah that it this is it thank you Awesome work, Maya. You did such a fantastic job, especially for being your first time coding. This is very impressive. So proud of the work you've done. Um, so yeah, we'll take any questions from the audience if they have any. I have one question. So it's a great uh, idea. The website is great and you're going to make apps. Have you looked into perhaps, you know, using some, I don't know if there are tools out there, I, I, you know, other people might know to take a website and convert it very basic looking app and then you can fine tune it so that you can get some user feedback as you oh. for, make your design better. Oh, thank you. It's a great idea. I'll definitely put into it. Yeah. A feedback page. Great work. Thank you, Ira. Hi, this is not a question, just a comment. Um, Maya, really, really great work. I just wanted to add, I liked how you built this with the ideology and like the concept of that motivational thing. And it's very clear how it's uh, become a part of your website. And so I think you having that mindset has affected the visuals, has affected the kind of tools you build, which is really awesome to see. Thank you so much, Mitri. Yeah, thank you. Uh, just an FYI, we were having, um, uh, not in, not a, a very hard time figuring out the, uh, uh, um, the project but uh this stemmed from the, the notion that there were there's tools project management tools for software at least to my knowledge there's plenty like jira <laughs> atlassian but i couldn't find anything related to actual physical engineering so that was how this came up um i i gave her a demo on jira and i i i showed her how we how we how this helps us in so many ways not just tracking issues but also using uh, the different tools like Grafana and um, uh, like how we work with sprints and things like that so I thought that would be a really great idea to have something or she thought it would be a great idea to have something with uh, engineer for something for an engineering um, team yeah great job <laughs> thank you awesome 